I hate ESPN Plus. I I decided after watching the BYU game this week and not being able to hear the crowd that I know was good. <laughs> I know it was good. But ESPN was just like, you know what? Let's make it sound like everybody's in a can and the crowd doesn't exist. I, I have always known that I've hated ESPN Plus. But can we at some point talk about how the two things in this conference that work me the most, the officiating, which is awful, awful. And I've the heard fact that, yeah. that I've got to chase down Big 12 basketball again this weekend, a top 20 game between Texas Tech and Oklahoma and Norman. Now, and nobody's going to go much less. Are they going to go? No Oklahoma fans going to go much less. Are they going to go find on ESPN plus? Maybe that's why they did it. This is this has to help the gate, right? Sure. sure. Fine. Fine. Uh, ESPN plus is weirdly like the hardest of these streaming apps to not want to throw out the window. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, go ahead. That it, it, it's from here for. Have you ever gone on to watch an event on ESPN Plus? Can everybody reason with this? Have you ever gone on to watch an event on ESPN Plus and actually saw kickoff or tip off? Never. I don't thought, know hey, that, that I have. Easy. <laughs> yeah. Never. You, not you go and it says your event is starting soon. You're like, oh, it was supposed to start 10 minutes ago. Turns out there are 14 minutes left for the first half. That literally happened with a Baylor game last year. They just didn't show like the first 10 or 12 minutes of gameplay. And everyone was like, what the hell is going on here? And that happens all the time. And, and there's sometimes where you get there, like right, if it's a two o'clock tip off, you get there right at two o'clock and it's not on live or upcoming and it's not on upcoming. And you're like, does this even exist? It's, it, it's never been easy. And it, wants you to confirm your credentials every single time. Like even if yeah. you're just already logged in, but going to click on another game, they'll make you do it again. It's the worst. It is the worst. I'm glad that it allows every game to be covered in the big 12, but it ends up being such a freaking headache, man. It is. And and like Kansas state and Iowa state, you know, BYU, you talk about the BYU game. And that's one that I that I circled. I was like, oh, this is terrible. Kansas State, Iowa State. What a game the rest of the country could watch. And then I go and I turn on ESPN and it's, sorry, on hockey or, you know, midweek hockey. Or I go and I turn on ESPN and they're doing like a, a an NFL preview. Like, what, what is it? Susie Culver's on my screen. What, what are we Try doing? Kansas State, man. Why can't I just have Big 12 basketball? And this makes me think, and I, I do see it pretty often, it feels like the SEC gets a more favorable shake at this because they have the SEC network, and I usually see them. I don't know what it is. I don't know if Auburn plays five times a week. Every time I turn on ESPN, Auburn's playing basketball, whether it's men's or women's. And that's just the way the SEC contract goes, I guess. But I don't understand at what point does ESPN see like we, we had this conversation in the first segment. This conference has more eyeballs than any conference in America. And the it's best teams see, in the country. Man. Why do I have to go to ESPN plus to get the biggest games? And and why can't we know like football, football? What's the, <clears throat> what's the most pageantry, the biggest product, the biggest moneymaker in college athletics? Football. And when do we learn the time of those games? Usually like an hour before. Like 45 minutes for kickoff. And in basketball, before anybody touches the hardwood, years in advance, they go, you know what? That game between Kansas and Baylor, ah, ESPN plus it. Five like, o'clock PM. It's like, like they built terrible. it in 2001. I don't understand how I'm football they can get it. And even, you know what? This, this, this segment's brought to you by FS1, who I have not oh. had a lot of problems with aside from that Baylor women's basketball game. Except for the fact that a, my team has always lost any time they've ever been on FS1 <laughs> ever. And second off, yes, watching that Baylor Kansas State women's basketball game. I know there will be people who say, oh, it's just women's basketball. It is a top 15 matchup on a Monday night where you used to have a whole great lineup of college basketball. You don't need more. And I can't even see half the screen for half the game and have no it's it's glitching. It's got half a green screen on it. Like you can't understand what anybody's saying. It was one of the it's the worst viewing experience I've had all year, Drake, of any sport. That was it. Uh, can we not just have nice things? 
And I watched league. Twilight this year. And that was the worst wow. viewing experience I've had wow. was that Baylor Kansas State women's basketball game. Uh, you I enjoyed gone. Twilight with how bad it was. Why didn't you go to the game? Oh, that's a great question, man. <laughs> I must just be watching too much hockey. I don't know. You probably uh, are. You forgot. You forgot. Like, ah, oh, I got caught watching the Bruins game, and <laughs> yeah, you were late. That must. That be was what a it great is. Bruins game that night. Beat the <laughs> league leading Jets at league leading at the time Jets. You can't say that often. League leading Jets. Does, anyway, yeah. I think I'm I'm be- I'm a believer in Big Dong Brett here. Big Dong Brett is okay. Crooked. He is working something out. The whole, the guy's whole deal is just entertainment. Yeah. With sports attached to it. He can't let this go on. I'm looking at tomorrow's games and a, there are in my mind, three really intriguing, if not three really good matchups, two ranked ones, and then Kansas state Houston. And they're all within two hours. So they're Mm -hmm. all overlapping And one of them, the one you've already mentioned, Tech at Oklahoma, top 20 matchup, ESPN Plus. Plus what? Can I just, like, can we flex a game out of another ESPN network? They can't do that. Texas and BYU's on ESPN, too. That's way too big a fan base. How about ESPNU? How about the Ocho? Can we flex it out? Classic. They Give all me ESPN soccer. Classic, oh, ABC. Uh, yeah, UCF and Cincinnati is the nightcap in the Big Twelve. And no hate. And hey, uh, hey, can we teams? That's can we spread these out though? Can we spread these out, Drake? Right. That's what. There's only one nightcap, and it's nothing that against UCF. But come on, guys. I, I don't need that to be the marquee game. Why, like why is it BYU the fine. nightcap? That's easy, bro. And the nightcap is on ESPN Plus. <laughs> Come on, ready to learn ESPN Plus, buddy. Buddy, that's what we're telling to Arizona and Colorado, baby. Is Baylor Plus? And look, Baylor's on a skid. You know, will they beat TCU? I think they should. But but maybe the more important question is Baylor Elite. This is Locked On Big Twelve, part of the Locked On Podcast Network. Your team every day. Guess what? Yeah. Uh huh. Today's show is brought to you by FanDuel. FanDuel is where I go to make money. I like money. And with the NFL regular season all wrapped up, we are in the playoffs, the yoffs. And America's number one sports book is right here for you. New customers get 150 bucks in bonus bets. Guaranteed when you place a five dollar bet. That's right, 150 bucks in bonus bets, win or lose. The app is easy to use. There are so many different ways to bet, like live same game parlays. Find best bets in the new Explore tab. Make a parlay in the Parlay Hub. The best way to find popular parlays and more. Fanduel.com/slash locked on to make your first bet a layup. Fanduel is the official sports betting partner of the NFL. <laughs> 